twist. So we're just working back and forth here, trying to get some nice fluid motion in each direction. Trying to open up that core, open up those hips, and just get a little bit of our blood flowing, moving around just a little bit. Good, back and forth here. If there is any pain with this, remember you can go just short of the end range of motion. Go as far as you comfortably can or feel like you want to. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is start with our shoulder circles. So we're going to make some nice big circles all the way around. Just getting some more blood flow. We're going to slowly move this into our elbows now. So moving it out just a little bit further. Good. And now we're going to add our entire arm to this. Again, starting with nice small circles, and then we're gonna go a little bit bigger. Good, and then as big as we can with those circles all the way around. Good, 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 good. Give me some nice big circles. If you can, go as big as you possibly want to and can. Good, and rest. Let those shoulders relax a little bit. And we're going to move into our side reaches. So this one is going to be our um, reaching all the way down to the ground, trying to touch, and then all the way to the other side and touch. Good. So for this one, the really important thing to remember is we're trying to not lean forward at all. We're trying to just bend through the sides of our body. That's the key for this one. Um, you can really try to cheat this by bending forward. Uh, you'll get the most out of this movement though by making sure you're going just through the side. Nice and easy. Both directions good. If you want a little more challenge for this, feel free to put your hands into knuckles and that'll increase the range of motion and it'll essentially make it harder for you to reach all the way down to the ground. Um, find a challenging uh, variation for yourself and give it your best shot back and forth. Good and rest. Perfect. Okay, so the next one we're going to do here is our ankle rockers. This one's going to involve our feet and all we're going to do is bring our heels up as high as we can and then bring our toes up. Heels up and toes up. Good. So we're just going back and forth here getting a little bit of motion through those ankles, trying to loosen things up and just feeling everything out nice and easy. Good, back and forth here, get some good motion all the way through those ankles, feeling it out. Good. We're gonna do a few more of these. Remember, we're pressing as hard as we can through each portion of your foot, feeling the ground and feeling those muscles work. And we'll rest right there. Perfect. This next one is one of my favorite warm-ups. It's our hip circles. You're going to go ahead and put your hands on your hips like so. And you're going to start to make a nice circular motion all the way around your chair here. Trying to bend as far forward and as far to the side as we can. Just getting some nice fluid motion through our back and through our hips. Trying to loosen everything up all the way around. Good. We're just picking one direction first. We'll flip to the other one in just a second. Feel this out for yourself. Feel how different areas might be tight, a little achy and discomfort. Move through those areas carefully and enjoy the feeling of motion. Good. Let's go ahead and we'll switch sides. So if you're going counterclockwise, feel free to go clockwise and vice versa, of course. Again, just trying to get some nice motion all the way around here, loosening up that body all the way around. Good. Nice and easy. Good. Let's do a couple more rotations all the way around. Get as big of circles as you can. Open up those hips. Good. And rest. Excellent job, everyone. We just have one more exercise to warm up with, <clears throat> and this is going to be our seated cat and cow. 
The variation that I like to do is by crossing my arms in front of my body like so, slowly curling my back as much as I can, and bending down and creating a nice, compact, tight ball with my entire body. Creating as much tension as I can, curling everything up, and slowly we'll sit back up out of that position. Go ahead and put your arms to the side, puff your chest out, and let's take a big breath in, big breath out. Good, all the way back in with those arms. We're going down into that position once again, and we're tightening our back, trying to create as much tension and curve with our spine, all the way down, and slowly all the way back up. Arms to the side, push that chest out, and breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time here. Bring those arms together all the way down. Create that nice tight ball. And then slowly come back out. Push those hands out to the side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful. Go ahead and relax the best you can. Uh, next, what we're going to move into is a little bit of work for our core muscles. Having a strong core is really important for overall back health and just general movement. So the first thing we're going to do is our Russian twist. We're going to start by slowly leaning back in our chair without actually touching the back of the chair. So I'm about half an inch from the back of the chair. We're going to bring our hands up to our chest and we're going to get some slow rotation side to side. So we're holding that position of being leaning back in our chair while getting some really slight rotation through our core, keeping our tummy muscles nice and tight as we move through this. Good. Back and forth here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. And rest. Good. Go ahead and sit up. You probably feel those muscles already firing a little bit. That's excellent. The next exercise we're going to move into for our core is our double leg lifts. So what this one is going to involve is by grabbing the sides of your chair. And for this one, we're not going to lean back at all. We're going to stay straight up. Um, what you're going to do is try to lift both your feet off the ground and down, up and down. This one's a pretty tricky one to do, so give it your best shot, lifting those knees up and down. If that's too tricky for you, try to put both your feet out and do the same thing. I'll make it a little bit easier. Up and down, good. Up and down. We're keeping that tummy tight, bringing those knees and feet up, down. Let's do a couple more here. Two, and three, perfect. Go ahead and bring those feet down. For our next position, we're gonna move into our crescent moon pose. So this one, our arms are gonna to start to the side of our chair like so. And we're gonna slowly bring one arm up and over our head as much as we can. Good. Let's take a big breath in in this position. And out. Good, we're holding that core nice and steady using our muscles to stabilize everything. Go ahead and switch to the other side for me. Big breath in, big breath out. Good, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna move through that motion one more time. All the way back over, good. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. Good, all the way back, we'll finish with this one. Reach all the way over, big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful, excellent job, everyone. We're moving right through these core exercises. We just have one more for you. And this next one's gonna be our chair sit-ups. We need to make sure we're sitting towards the edge of that chair as best we can. And what we're gonna do is slowly lean back as much as we can until we touch the chair and then we'll sit up nice and tall once we've touched it, okay? The key to this one is to go as slow as possible. You notice in the last little bit of this exercise, that'll create quite a bit of work for your core and your tummy muscles. So you're falling back, 
Nice and comfortable, nice and slow. Sitting up, good, 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 good. If you really want an extra challenge, try to hold that position in your seated back right before you touch the chair for a few extra moments. That'll give you some really good core work. Otherwise, we're just going as slow as possible. Nice and controlled, all the way back. Good, sit up. Beautiful, one more time for me. All the way back and up. Perfect, excellent job everyone. So we are all finished with our seated core exercises. We're actually gonna move into our slider exercises next. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab that slider. Uh, remember for this one, if you don't have a um, slider, you can use a towel, but you will have to um, be on a hard surface, like a, a wood or tile or something like that, okay? So what we're gonna start with for our slider exercises is our forward reaches. So you're gonna be standing on the slider with one foot, and you're gonna slowly reach that guy forward and back as far as you can. We're trying to bend that opposite leg forward and back. Good. Pushing that guy as far forward as we can. Nice and easy. And you'll have to make sure you're putting a decent enough pressure in that slider foot, otherwise the slider is going to go to the side and you're going to lose traction of it. Good. Nice and easy. Two. And beautiful. Excellent job, everyone. We're going to go ahead and switch to our other foot and we're going to do the same thing. We're pushing that slider as far forward as we can and standing back up nice and tall. Slide it forward and backwards. Good. We're controlling that motion, not going too fast in this, and we're getting a little bit of bend through that leg. Nice and easy. Good. Feel those muscles work. Feel that movement as we move through this nice and steady. Good. One more. And relax. Excellent job, everyone. We're going to go ahead and switch back to that starting foot for us. And what we're going to do next is our side pushes, okay? So this one, you're going to be standing on that starting foot. And this time, instead, you're going to be pushing that slider to the side and back. Again, kind of the same motion, except you're moving in a different direction. So um, for me, I'm standing on the slider with my right foot, and I'm pushing out to the right. And then bringing that guy back in nice and controlled. Remember, we're trying to bend that leg that's planted. Good. Nice and easy. We'll do one more on this side. And rest. Perfect. Go ahead and switch to your other side. And we're going to push that guy all the way over and all the way back. Good. All the way over and all the way back. I should mention for this one too, if you are starting to have any pain or any issues and just feel uh, like you need a little bit of break, feel free to do these exercises seated. Um, they're not going to change at all. <clears throat> you're still going to be moving side to side, forward and backwards, except you'll just be seated so it'll be a little less stress on your overall body. Good. And rest. Perfect. Okay, so for this next one, what we're going to do is our backwards reaches. So this one, you want to make sure you have a little bit of reach behind your chair. And I'll actually show you from the side how this will look. But you're going to be pushing that guy straight back and straight forward. Straight back, straight forward. You're trying to keep that leg planted as usual. Getting a little bit of bend forward and backward. Nice and steady. Good. Nice and easy. We're pushing through that leg, trying to control the movement the best we can. Good. And rest. Perfect. Let's go ahead and flip to that opposite side. And again, remember, we're keeping that foot nice and planted and slowly bringing that guy back and forward. Good. Notice my motion of my slider foot is staying about the same the entire time. I'm not rushing it when I'm coming back, and I'm not rushing it when I'm going back initially. The motion is the same, it's consistent, and it's a nice steady pace. That's exactly what we want. Good, let's do two more here. Good, one more. And rest, perfect. 
Okay. We're going to go ahead and switch back to that starter foot um, once again. And how this one, uh, this next one's going to be for us is a little bit of a um, all-inclusive movement, I should say. So basically, we just work the forward, side, and back. This one, we're going to do circles. So it's going to kind of involve all those movements we just did, um, just a slightly different variation. Good. I need to get away from my chair. <laughs> getting a little bit uh, too close to it. So uh, that is a good reminder. Remember you have um, decent kind of space around you. You may you want to make sure you're not going to trip over anything or fall. Um, right now I'm just trying to create as big of circles as I can. My planted leg is actually bent this entire time. This is going to get some really good work through that muscle. Good. Go ahead and switch to the other side. We're doing that same thing. Bend that planted leg, and we're making some nice big circles all the way around with that guy. Good, big, 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 big. Reach those hips, reach those feet. Try to feel those tissues move through your hips. And relax, perfect. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do with the slider today is our alphabet. Um, I don't know the last time you've done your ABCs, but we're going to test you today. <laughs> and um, we're going to start with our um, starting foot for the slider. And basically, you're going to write the alphabet with your foot, okay? So, doing A, B, C. Um, see how quickly you can go at this one. Get some really good work. And it doesn't really matter. You can do capital. You can do lowercase. Um, you can try cursive if you like, might be a little tricky, give it your best shot. Good, if you are trying to race me, um, I'm through J, <laughs> K, whoops, L, M, N, keep working guys, we're almost there, P, Q, R, S, T, Feel the burn, feel the burn, I'm feeling it. Uh, v, X, Y, and Z, perfect. Whew. Oh man, my planner, my leg that was planted got some really good work on that one. So as you can probably guess, we are gonna switch to the other side and we're gonna do um, the alphabets with that. I'm not gonna trick you guys and make you do it backwards because I can't even do that. Um, so we're just going to do it straight through again. If you want to try to do it backwards, feel free. Um, I'm writing this with my left foot though, so it is just going to be a little bit trickier in general. I don't know if you've ever tried to write your alphabet with your um, off hand, but at least for me it is a little tricky. Man, I can't control this guy. E, F, G, H, I, and through I, everyone, keep working hard, J, K, L, M, N, O, doing great, everyone, keep on moving, P, Q, feel the burn, I'm through R, <laughs> S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Whew, oh my lord. Got some really good work through my, through my hip and leg muscles on that one. Excellent job, guys. Give yourself a pat on the back. We're going to go ahead and um, finish with just a little bit of balance, and then we're going to move into a little bit of stretching to help calm and relax our body, okay? So this first thing we're gonna do is our balance holds position. Um, and basically that means we're gonna start with our feet hip width apart and feel how this is for us. If this is an easy balance position that we can do all day, we're gonna bring both of our feet together like so and feel that out as well. If this is easy for you, we can start to slowly inch one of our feet forward and feel that out for me. I'm gonna do a heel to toe hold. So essentially, um, my heel and toe are touching, and I'm gonna to try to hold this position the best I can. 
Um, really try to not move your arms quite as much or move your whole body. You are going to make some corrections and you might feel like you're going to fall a little bit. It's okay to have a chair near you in case you do need it. Very nice. Okay, we'll switch back to the other side. Same thing. Start with both feet um, out like that. Again, slowly bring them in. If that's easy for you, you'll slowly inch those feet all the way forward and hold. Nice and steady. Good. Good, good, good. Breathe and hold. Breathe and hold. Trying to not move anything but our arms. I feel like I'm a little bit better on this side. Maybe not. Maybe I just jinxed myself. <laughs> Good, hold, hold, hold. We got a few more seconds. And relax, perfect. Okay guys, next and last balance exercise we're gonna do is our reverse hurdle exercise. So for this one, you're gonna act like there's an imaginary hurdle kind of running behind your body. And what you're gonna do is open up your hip and try to step up and back over that hurdle. This is really gonna change your center of gravity and it's gonna make you work in a uh, different type of movement that you may not have been used to doing. So give it a shot. Um, if it's a little tricky for you, try to do smaller steps, that's totally okay. But ultimately, if you can get both feet just like so, that's what we're shooting for here. Again, remember you can have that chair near you in case you do need it. Good. And rest. Excellent job, everyone. We are all finished with our actual movement portion of class. We're going to do a little bit of stretching to help calm and relax our body now. This first one, we're going to do um, a few standing ones, and it's our hamstring stretch. So you want to keep your legs nice and straight. And we're going to slowly reach down, trying to go all the way to touch our toes. And when we're in this position, we're keeping those legs nice and straight, focusing on breathing in. Breathing out, nice and steady. Um, again, it's not quite as important to touch your toes as it is to keep your legs nice and straight, okay? So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good, slowly sit up from that position. Take a couple deep breaths, make sure you're feeling okay. Make sure that blood's getting back in your head. And the next one we're gonna do is our overhead reach. So we're gonna actively Reach up as high as we can towards the sky, and we're gonna stretch through our body and take some big, deep breaths. Good. One more. And slowly bring that arm back down. Toss that other arm up in the air. And again, we're actively reaching to the sky, trying to touch our um, fingertips to the ceiling, and we're breathing in. Three good breaths for me, all the way in. One more breath. Beautiful, excellent. For our last stretch, we're gonna need our chair. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this to the side so you can see it well. You're actually gonna take a couple steps back, and then you're gonna slowly push your butt back and push your head down between your hands, okay? So your arms are up on the chair and you're just poking your head through, trying to stretch our shoulders a little bit here and breathing nice and easy, all the way in and all the way out. One more big breath. Beautiful, all right everyone. We are going to finish up with one more seated stretch, and that's going to be our forward fold. We're going to go ahead and cross our arms in front of our body, have our feet spread nice and far apart, and we're slowly bending down in this position. And we're going to let our lower back just relax and rest easy the best we can, okay? So we're breathing in, breathing out, allowing that lower back to relax nice and easy. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good. Slowly sit back up for me. Again, take a couple more deep breaths. Make sure you're feeling okay. Got that blood um, back in your head, feeling like you're not going to pass out or anything. 
I just wanted to wish you guys an awesome job on today's workout. Thank you for joining me so much. Go ahead and share this with some of your friends who may uh, struggle with uh, general exercise classes and need something a little bit uh, more inclusive, low impact, something that um, every individual can do. Share this with those friends um, or share it with anyone. If you just want to get a little light movement, this is a great option. So thank you guys for joining me today. Excellent work and we'll see you in that next class video.